What is up fellow YouTube artists and aspiring artists? It is Mike here with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. Just a quick short video today to give you a little tidbit of information that is pretty important that I use uh, quite often and might be overlooked by some of you. Today I'm talking about how to cut poster board. So you got a sheet of poster board, you're good to go. Uh, sometimes, as in the case of this one, it's curved up, it's a little bit damaged on one part. You might want to trim it off or cut it off, or you might want to be creating a poster board for a specific size of piece. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I do that process. It does require a, a minimal upfront investment of a few pieces of equipment that I use. Uh, you can find alternatives lying around your house that have a similar effect, I believe, but here's the best, cleanest way to get the results you need. You're gonna need for this tutorial today, a piece of poster board, pretty straightforward. Next up, a cutting mat. I like to use this, you could use a piece of wood, you could use um, other surfaces, I suppose. Just make sure you can damage it if the blade cuts through, which it will cut through the paper. So cutting mat is the way to go. It also has these handy grid lines here and measurements on either side so you can know exactly how big your poster board is gonna be. Then you're gonna need this rotary cutter. Uh, you can buy this at any craft store. Very common for cutting fabrics and other things like that. Uh, you pull it back and reveal this very sharp blade. Be super careful of that. I have cut myself before. It is not fun. Last item I have and probably the most substitutable item on the parts list for today's tutorial is this clear gridded ruler. It's probably got a professional name, although I don't know it. So some kind of straight edge. I like this one because you can see through it um, and it's nice and, and sturdy and thick. So this is what I use. When I go to cut my poster board, guys, I'm gonna place it down here onto my cutting mat. I'm gonna line up this edge flush and even with the edge of the cutting mat. And I'm gonna do the same along this axis here. A lot of the times these poster boards are not actually perfectly square. So no matter how much you cut, you might have some wonky edge on one of the lines. So factor that in when you're making your decision. Uh, in my case, about from here over is kind of damaged and bent, but for standard sizing, I'm gonna go with the 22, which is already the height of this by 18. So I'm gonna go up to my number 18, 18 inches here. I'm gonna lay down my ruler, nice and even on both the 18 on the top and the bottom here. Once I have that, I'm gonna hold this down with my hand with a fair bit of pressure. I'm gonna check this to make sure this is still in line. Looks like we're good to go. Pull the safety back here on our rotary cutter and from the bottom, I'm gonna be holding down on this ruler. If you cut and push, the ruler can tilt. So you wanna make sure you have some pressure. Start at the bottom, press down, and then just pushing the blade against the ruler all the way up, one slice. We got this bent, awful piece of poster board. That's out of here. And now we have a custom sized piece of poster board. Of course, guys, you can cut these uh, with scissors. You can use an X-Acto knife. There's a lot of different ways to do it. This is the way I find to be fastest uh, and, and the best results. So make sure you play around with it. Hopefully this helped you guys out and I'll see you again in the next video.